Good afternoon, enthusiasts, and if you like roller coasters, there's a pretty good chance you've probably already heard about this, like on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook if you're one of those people. But yeah, anyways, let's talk about this. So SeaWorld Entertainment, which owns all the SeaWorld parks and the Busch Gardens parks, has placed a bid for $3.4 billion dollars to buy Cedar Fair Entertainment Company, which owns Cedar Point, Keynes Island, Valley Fair, Knott's Berry Farm, etc. Now, about a year or two years ago, Six Flags tried to buy Cedar Fair, and that was a complete joke. But with SeaWorld trying to buy Cedar Fair, Cedar Fair has reportedly been interested in this takeover, which I'm just going to say kind of concerns me. Now, let's say this deal does go through, there will be some pros to this. Like, for example, a Cedar Fair Platinum Pass will give you access to not only all the Cedar Fair parks, but also the SeaWorld and Busch Gardens parks. Which, I mean, think about it. If you live in Virginia, you can go to both Kings Dominion and Busch Gardens Williamsburg with the same pass. How cool is that? Also, the smaller Cedar Fair parks that don't get much investment could, in theory, benefit from SeaWorld owning them. And we could see some more Intamin roller coasters come to these parks. So, sure, yes, there would be some benefits to SeaWorld owning Cedar Fair, but in my personal opinion, I do not want this deal to happen. My first reason is that this could be considered a monopoly. Now, I know SeaWorld and Cedar Fair aren't really the biggest rivals, I guess, because Six Flags is kind of Cedar Fair's biggest rival, but let's think about Kane's Dominion and Busch Gardens Williamsburg. These two parks are super competitive, and because of that, we've seen some pretty amazing roller coasters, like Apollo's Chariot, Inseminator 305, Twisted Timbers, Pantheon, I mean, competition is a good thing. One other reason is that Cedar Fair has a very long history. I mean, Cedar Point is the second oldest park in the US, and pretty much all of the Cedar Fair parks have that distinct Cedar Fair feel to them. They all feel like Cedar Fair parks. I'm kind of fearful that if SeaWorld owns these parks, they'll strip away the Cedar Fair charmness of them, and who knows, possibly even rename these parks. Which, if they change Cedar Point's name, I will be mad. And finally, my biggest concern with this takeover is that they'll take away Snoopy. Listen, I love Snoopy, okay? I gr grew up watching the holiday specials on TV, and I think the Peanuts characters are a great park mascot. Plus, Snoopy is just super adorable, okay? So, if SeaWorld buys Cedar Fair and they change all of the Peanuts theming to Sesame Street, I will be very mad, okay? Like, I would probably get really mad, then after I rage, I will go to my closet and cry for a few hours, because come on, Snoopy is the best. I'm not saying Sesame Street is bad, but I will always prefer Peanuts. Also, the creator of Peanuts, Charles M. Schultz, his home state was Minnesota, and Valley Fair, which is a Cedar Fair park, is located in Minnesota. So SeaWorld better not get rid of Snoopy. So yeah, those are my top three concerns, okay? Obviously, I'm not really a huge fan of the idea of SeaWorld buying Cedar Fair, because honestly, I like Cedar Fair the way it is right now. Yes, there are some things that I don't like about Cedar Fair and that are kind of annoying, but all in all, I like Cedar Fair as a company. I think they do a great job operating their parks, and I don't see the need for SeaWorld to own them because Cedar Fair has got it down, okay? Cedar Fair knows what they're doing. So the big question still remains, will SeaWorld actually buy Cedar Fair? And in my personal opinion, I don't think so. There is a good possibility of this happening, but I don't think this is the best decision for Cedar Fair to make. Cedar Fair, like I said, does a good job operating their parks. 
even though they have some annoying policies and other stuff going on, they still do a great job. So I really hope SeaWorld does not buy Cedar Fair. But hey, I can't control it. It could happen. Who knows, maybe by the time this video comes out, we'll have an actual answer. But yeah, I don't think SeaWorld is going to buy Cedar Fair. But hey, that's just my opinion on this. So in the comment section, what do you think about this whole situation? Also, do me a big favor and like this video. It would mean a lot. And ooh, while you're at it, you might as well hit subscribe. That would also be super appreciated. And with that, take it easy, and I'll see you next time on North Star Coasters. Hey guys, this is Micah. Thank you so much for watching that video. Um, I am finally back doing YouTube after a long break in January, so I'm excited to get back and do some more videos. I have an, uh, one more video coming out probably by the end of this week, hopefully. And an update on the 1K subscriber special. It might be postponed due to the fact that me and my friends are super busy this month and it'll be very hard to come together and actually film this. So production has started, but it might take a little while than expected. So sorry about that, but I'm doing the best I can. So anyways though, have a great day.